Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be packing for our last holiday before I return to work and I'm always responsible for packing for myself and for George. And when we first started travelling with George, I would pack like a week in advance because I was always really worried that I was going to forget something. But now I just pack the day before because of these simple travel hacks that I've learned along the way. And we've done a lot of travelling since George has been born. In the last five months we've visited over 16 countries on four different continents, two road trips and 10 flights. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you 18 simple travel hacks that will change the way that you travel. And if this is your first time traveling with a baby, there's a link up top, click on it, and that'll share with you 11 really handy tips that you need to know if you're flying with a baby for the first time. But before we do, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click the bell so that you get notified every time we post a new video. So let's get packing. Tip one, roll your clothes instead of folding them. Rolling your clothes will save you so much space, it allows you to have more clothes in there and reduces creases, which is great because I'm terrible at ironing. Tip two, use your shoes to store smaller items and to maintain the shape of your shoe. So I tend to put in there socks or sports bras, bikinis, you know, really small little items. And this just means that you've got more space in the actual suitcase or your carry-on to pack things that you need. Tip three, sunglasses cases aren't just great for sunglasses. We use them all the time to keep our cables together. And if like me, you just chuck them in there when you finish with them. This is another really good way of keeping them stored. Keeps them dry, keeps them clean and keeps them all together. Tip four is a washcloth. If you've had a shower on the morning of your flight and the toiletries are still damp, wrap them in a washcloth and it soaks up any excess moisture and prevents mess. Tip five, bring an oven glove for your straighteners or curling iron. For the mornings you have to use them and you don't have time to let them cool off before you fly. Tip six, any breakables or items that might leak or explode such as perfume, store them in your socks. And that way if they do leak, then it's contained and it shouldn't leak onto your clothes. Tip seven, pillowcase. I always like to bring my own pillowcase from home because it's something familiar and when you're traveling on a budget, sometimes the pillowcases can be really dodgy. It's also great for dirty washing and using as a laundry bag. Tip eight is to bring your own spare clothes in your carry-on. You don't know when you're gonna get delayed. You don't know what accidents are going to happen. So I always do this and I always carry expensive items that I don't wanna get lost. Tip nine, packing cubes. Life changing. Hundreds of shapes, sizes and patterns available. I use these for packing. It keeps everything organized and it fits really well. Tip 10 is to use straws to store your necklaces. So if like me, you throw your necklaces in your box because you don't have time, then you might waste 10 minutes of your life trying to untangle it. And we all know how frustrating that can be. So all you've got to do is feed your necklace through the straws, put it back together, and then you've got a tangle-free necklace. Tip 11 is to store your shoes in a shower cap. Put the soles of your shoes facing down so they don't put dirt on your other items. And this is really useful if your shoes are wet or damp. And you can pick up a shower cap for a pound from the pound shop. Tip 12 is to use cling film to protect any leaking toiletries. So before you leave the house, put some cling film over any bottles of toiletries or gel and this will stop any leaks. All you have to do is unscrew the lid of each product and place some cling film over the top and then screw the lid back on and you should be leak free. Tip 13 is to take an extension cable. So if you're traveling internationally, then you'll need an adapter, but if you've got lots of cables like we do, just take one extension cable and you'll only need to take one adapter. 
Tip 14, protect your razor. For some reason, there really isn't a container to carry out razors in, so I use a bulldog clip to keep the blades protected, and that means you can throw it in your bag and not cut yourself when you have to pick it up or locate it. Tip 15 is to protect your makeup. So we've all seen those nightmare videos of the baggage handlers throwing your bag around. So this is a really simple tip to keep everything in place. So I just use cotton pads and I place it inside my compacts. And this stops everything from getting messy and it stops things from breaking. Tip 16 is to use a tic tac box to store clips. So this is one of my current favourites because my hair is starting to get really long now. So I'm using a lot more bobby pins. So you can pick up a tic tac box for a couple of pounds. Once you've finished it, then you can store items in there such as your bobby pins or any other little bits and bobs that you want to. Tip 17, DIY TV. So budget airlines or short haul flights sometimes don't have onboard entertainment. Instead, they encourage you to download their app and watch it on your phone. But then you have to hold it and that can be annoying. So if you just take a bit of bag and hang it on the back of your table tray, and obviously make a hole in the side for your headphones, you've got your own TV. Tip 18 is to always carry a pen. So keep one in your carry-on or in your handbag so you can fill out custom forms on the plane and avoid the lines when you get off. video will make packing less stressful and more efficient for you drop a comment below and let us know where it is that you're traveling to so we can inspire one another and if you like this video please give it the thumbs up or subscribe to our channel we put out new content every monday and wednesday and if you really want to come and follow us and see what we get up to on a day-to-day -day basis then join us on the social channels at Gemma and george or head over to our website the link's in the bio this is george and i'm Gemma. And welcome to Gemma and George. Hi, excited? Yeah, I'm going to tell all these people what we do. On this channel, we'll be posting all things baby, all things motherhood, lifestyle, life and work balance, teething, everything, including no sleep. Yeah, because we had no sleep today, did we? No. Lifestyle, motherhood and travel. We spent six months traveling around the world with George and that has definitely taught us a thing or two about life and babies on the move. We'll be posting new videos on a Monday and a Wednesday and on Mondays we'll be posting vlogs about what our week's been like, what we've been up to, is there any new developments for George and on a Wednesday, he's climbing up walls, excuse me. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click the bell so that you get notified every time we post a new video. Are you going to say hi? No. <laughs>